All of you seeking DIY health remedies, listen to this cautionary tale. A new medical case report cites a man with gallstones who was told by his naturopathic practitioner to consume three tablespoons of Epsom salt with water for 15 days. The man was trying to dissolve his gallstones, but he got a lot more instead. He ended up getting jaundice and permanent liver damage. And 40% of people polled said information found on social media affects how they cope with a chronic condition. And you just gotta be aware, because yeah. liver flushing products and concoctions are all over the internet. You walk into any number of vitamin stores, liver cleanse, mm -hmm and they make all these wonderful claims. Yeah, I mean, this, this was a recipe that was readily found online for a liver flush, where it had apple juice, which they said had malic acid to dissolve those stones. And nothing wrong with apple yeah, juice, right? Yeah, nothing wrong with it, but it was like days of apple oh. juice. Then this is the Epsom salt, this is the olive oil. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot kind of, of these well, ingredients that theoretically... Let's be clear, your liver is a wonderful organ that is made to filter along with your kidneys. Mm -hmm. The single best things you can do for your liver to keep it healthy so it's filtering well, eat right, healthy diet, and avoid anything that we know is liver toxic. Yeah, I mean, alcohol. certainly alcohol being the big one. Acetaminophen, really. yeah. potentially, other medications. Even, even some cholesterol-lowering drugs. Like there statins. you go, yeah, Ken. Definitely. So, I mean, those are the things you should be aware of good liver health, just like everything else. I would rather people make a mixture of apple juice and olive oil, because at least you know what you're taking, than going and taking some of these supplements that claim to cleanse your liver and drink as much as you want because this will wash your liver out. And Be it, very careful with that stuff. And to your point, there actually are medications now available, oral medications for hepatitis B, hepatitis C. So if you have a true infection of your liver, you're not going to fix it with grapefruit juice and apple juice. Like that's just kind of the bottom line. And in addition to whether or not you even scar your liver from these flushes, you can certainly get kidney damage. You can have arrhythmias, which have been reported with these liver flushes. You can have diarrhea. So they're not totally benign, whether or not they even ding your liver and they don't do what they're supposed to do. Incidentally, did you guys hear about this online group that if, our producers yeah, joined? 15,000 members who are all talking about these DIY type flushes. It's it's crazy. Like you said, 40% of people with chronic illnesses are turning to social media now. So you just have to be so careful. Drink water. Liver is so, the liver though, I'll tell you what, an underappreciated organ in our body.